What's up everybody? I've got another production update for you today. First, I just want to say a big, big thank you. Because of you, your trust, your support, the Baby Maker campaign has reached so many people around the world. Just hit $10 million last night. That means we also have an upgrade for you. All production baby makers are going to get a 28 mile per hour speed limit instead of 25 miles per hour. So super excited about that. Before we get into this, if you enjoy the videos, the updates, please take one second, hit that subscribe button below. It would mean the world to us and allow us to keep building better bikes, making better videos for you. Anyways, let's get right back into the factory and check out what's going on with Baby Maker Production. In the last update, you saw our tooling arrive and tubes being cut to build the frames. What you didn't see is how deep we go into this process. Pete is absolutely relentless at demanding and enforcing strict, strict standards for our frames. We've already been to five frame factories in a relentless pursuit of the absolute best quality. And each of these frame factories build bikes that you see in major, major stores around the world. The absolute top brands are building things like this. Take a closer look here. here. These tubes are typically punched out and notice how they don't sit totally flush on the head tube. A frame can be made like this, but we want to build it better. So instead of punching the tubes out and leaving that margin for error, we use precision milling machines to make sure that every tube is cut exactly to fit the part that it goes on. Check out what that means when they're lined up together. Look at that, there's no gaps, nothing like that. When this frame is welded, that's gonna make the strongest, absolutely strongest joints you could ever imagine on a bike. You're not welding in air, you're welding metal on metal. Look at what that looks like here. So excited about this. Pete's done an amazing job here with the milling machines. So now that everything is milled, just some final inspections while it's lined up in the welding jigs. This is where they're really gonna come in handy. Typically, when you see a bike frame, this is, again, 99.9% .9 of the time. And with those other major, major brands, they just line up the tubes on the paper document, give a dab of weld on each joint, and then go, go about welding it all together. It does not make the most precise frame, but look at how everything is just locked into place here. Absolutely no room for movement or error. That's why these welding jigs are so important. And Pete's done an incredible job at enforcing this, getting these made, making sure that your baby maker is built exactly how it is supposed to. Check those out. I hope you're exci as excited about this as I am. And look in the background, what's going on there. Very, very exciting stuff. So this is one of our welding stations. And again, that welding jig is not normal operations for a typical bike manufacturer, but we wanna give you the best. So the moment you've all been waiting for some welding going on, just enjoy those smooth, smooth welds that are gonna to happen to your baby maker. So much the same way when you install something with screws, you wanna get all the screws in and then confirm the placement and tighten them down individually. Here he's doing spot weld. So spot welding each piece where there's metal on metal contact to make sure those positions are locked in using that tooling and then go back and complete each weld individually. And a really cool thing, once this frame is complete and we're completely happy with the positions, we're gonna take the frame tooling, these individual pieces, and weld them to the base to make sure they're in the perfect spot forever. All right, guys, that's it for today's update. There will be more to come. If you enjoy the videos, wanna see the next one first, hit that subscribe button and the bell to see the next video right when it comes out. Like, comment, and we'll see you in the next one.